I wouldn't say that the Christmas dance, also known as Come Dance With Me, has entered the very small selection of Hallmark films that I do not like, but I will say that I felt like it was kind of flat and not a very great offering. Fundamentally, nothing wrong with it, but it just wasn't that enjoyable. This was released in 2012, directed by John Bradshaw, written by Kevin Cummins, and stars Andrew McCarthy as our protagonist, Jack. Now, interestingly, Jack is our protagonist, and that is a male. And if you are a fan of Hallmark films, their romance films, in particular Christmas films, you'll know how rare that is. Obviously, we usually have a romantic lead. We have a female protagonist, a male protagonist, but usually everything is driven around the female. Not the case here. I've watched maybe just shy of 200 Hallmark rom-coms, and I believe this is the first time this has happened. So I'm pretty excited about that. Jack is dating Demi, who is from a very wealthy, affluent background, and her parents are very proper. He is obviously invited to spend the holidays with them, and there's going to be a lot of dancing. He's very nervous. He decides to take dance lessons to try and impress Demi's family, and in doing so, he meets somebody who he realises may be more likely to be his soulmate than Demi is. Demi is a lovely person, there's nothing wrong with her, she's not judgmental. Her family, on the other hand, you can tell they're going to be a bit of a problem. I wouldn't say that Jack is shooting out of his league with Demi's family, but they're from very different walks of life. Will he? Who will he end up with by the end of the film, and will he learn to dance successfully? I'm not going to say what happens either way. I will say that it's an interesting concept, but I find that the narrative is poorly executed. This has nothing to do with the fact that our main protagonist is a male. I was very excited about that fact. I thought this was fantastic. Hallmark's doing something a little bit different, even though the narrative is quite similar to a lot of others where somebody feels like they're maybe not with the person they're meant to be with or they don't necessarily belong. But I just think the actual narrative itself was dull. The dance lessons I didn't care about. Yes, sparks were flying with other characters. I won't say who or what or why. And I was curious. Certainly, I was curious to find out what happened to Jack and where his path would take him. But I thought the narrative was quite monotonous. It wasn't that festive. There wasn't anything about it that had a spark. Uh, and for me, that's something that's essential with a Christmas film like this. I need it to be warm and fuzzy and full of Christmas magic and suggesting that Christmas miracles could happen. In this one, I just felt really sorry for Jack and I feel like it had quite a negative tone to it quite a depressing, well not depressing, that's, I'm exaggerating, it's not that bad, but it just didn't feel that exciting. So, if you're a fan of Hallmark Christmas films, I'd say give it a watch because there might be something in it for you. But if, generally speaking, you're not that bothered about Hallmark films and you're looking for something that's easy to watch that you may get on with, The Christmas Dance or Come Dance With Me is, unfortunately, despite its slightly more innovative approach, not one that I would recommend for that.